Hi, so welcome to another video. So this video is on transition metals and it's looking at uh, complexes and putting them in a particular order. So the question reads like this. So solution, solutions of uh, cobalt um, metal ions, so there's two different metal ions, one with the NH3 ligand and one with the H2O water ligand, uh, both octahedral and the COCl4 2 minus is tetrahedral. Then they are colored. So one is pink, one is blue, and one is yellow. So based on the spectrochemical series and remembering that the energy splitting in tetrahedral complexes is normally much less than that of octahedral ones, assign a color to each complex. So let's write out the complexes. So we've got CO, NH, three, we've got six of those, and that has a two plus. We have uh, COH2O, six, two plus. And we've got COCl4, two minus. So these two here are octahedral, and this one here is tetrahedral. So the colors we have are pink, blue, and yellow. So we've got pink, blue, and yellow. So looking up on your on your image of opposite complementary colors and the wavelength range that they exist within, if we look up pink, uh, pink is 490 to 560 nanometers, thereabouts. Uh, yellow is 400 to 430, and blue is 580 to 650 nanometers. So if we look at the spectrochemical series, so it's this here, we can see that um, the strong field ligands have the larger energy gap. Now remember a high energy gap or a large energy gap means that it has the shorter um, wavelength that's absorbed. So the ones that have the higher energy gap, they have the shorter wavelength that will be absorbed. So looking at this, we have NH3 that comes up first. So that has the highest energy gap. And then next on it is water. And then lastly is the chloride. Okay, so the highest energy gap is NH3. So NH3 will have the shortest wavelength. So therefore it would be the yellow. Okay, so this has the highest energy gap. So determined from the spectrochemical series, so it has the shortest wavelength. Okay, so that would be yellow. So the next one, number two, would be the, this is the shortest wavelength. The next shortest is the pink. So the water would be the pink. And then that leaves the chloride with the cobalt to be the blue. So looking at the spectrochemical series, which one has the highest energy gap? The one that has the highest energy gap will have the shortest wavelength. And so therefore looking at your three colors, looking at the wavelengths that they correspond to and matching them up. So sometimes the question may give you extra information depending on the style of questions that you've given and not all the information is needed to be able to solve the problem. You can go into more detail in this one, but very quickly and simply, this is an easy way to get to the correct answer. So thank you very much and um, enjoy the next video.